How are butterflies so colorful? Firstly, butterflies get their color from chemical pigments such as melanin, which absorb certain wavelengths of light while reflecting others. Secondly, butterflies' wings are made up of thousands of transparent microscopic scales. Also, each scale has multiple layers separated by air. Hence, when light passes through these scales, it is reflected multiple times. These reflections compound one another and intensify the colors. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Why does our heart beat faster when we get frightened? In stressful situations, a part of our brain called the amygdala generates a response of fear or danger and sends it to the hypothalamus. Now, the hypothalamus activates our fight-or-flight system, which in turn causes the release of adrenaline. Adrenaline increases our breathing rate, elevates our blood pressure, and most importantly, it makes our heart beat faster than normal. This allows more oxygen and glucose to reach our cells through blood, giving us a burst of energy and thus making us capable to fight or flight. Mm. What is the cause of birthmarks? Birthmarks are colored marks on our skin which are present at birth or appear shortly afterwards. Birthmarks are of two types, vascular and pigmented. Vascular birthmarks are caused when a lot of blood vessels clump together or they are stretched wider than usual. Pigmented birthmarks are generally caused when cells called melanocytes grow together in clusters. Birthmarks may also be inherited sometimes and some of them may be similar to marks on other family members. Why do men have a deeper voice? According to a research, during prehistoric times, males had to fight for females. So deeper voices allowed them to appear more intimidating and dominant, thus scaring their opponent away. Hmm. Now, let's see how this deep voice is produced. The size of larynx or voice box is greater in males as compared to females. Hence, the vocal folds or cords present within the larynx lengthen as well as thicken. As a result, when males speak, the folds vibrate less per second, thus producing a deeper voice. Hmm. Huh? Why do some people develop allergies? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. How exactly do we cough? When anything irritates our breathing passage, our brain activates the cough response. First of all, we gasp in a large volume of air into our lungs. Next, our epiglottis closes, thus closing off the windpipe. Then our rib muscles begin to contract, thus putting pressure on the lungs. But as the windpipe is closed, the air can't move out, so more pressure builds up. Finally, the epiglottis opens and air forcefully rushes out, carrying the irritant and thus producing a cough. Hmm. How will we sound on Mars? Firstly, because of the cold Martian atmosphere, sound travels at a lower speed on Mars as compared to that on Earth. Hmm. Secondly, as the Martian atmosphere is extremely sparse, it affects the way sound waves travel from one point to the other. Hence, the volume of sound heard on Mars is automatically lower. Hmm. Lastly, the Martian atmosphere is made up of around 96% carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide absorbs a lot of higher-pitched sounds. As a result, only lower-pitched sounds can travel long distances on Mars. 
Hmm. <laughs> How do spiders make their web? Firstly, the spider uses its silk thread to connect both the endpoints, thus forming a bridge. Secondly, the spider also ties a loose thread between both the points. Now from the center of the loose thread, it adds a new thread and pulls it to form a Y shape. It then joins the three points to form a frame. Then it starts laying radial threads till the web becomes strong enough. Finally, from the center of the web, it starts laying the silk threads spirally, eventually completing the web. Hmm. Where does gold come from? Simple, from Amsum's locker. Oh, Amsum! Gold is produced only when a supernova occurs. As in, when stars explode or when neutron stars collide with each other. During such events, heavy elements such as gold are formed via the rapid neutron capture process. Now, when the Earth was getting formed, gold, along with other heavy elements, sank towards the Earth's core. It is believed that around 4 billion years ago, a huge number of asteroids collided with planet Earth, stirring its core and forcing some of the gold into the Earth's mantle, as well as crust. Hmm. What causes huh? altitude sickness? No idea, but Amsum is not afraid of heights. Huh? Oh, Amsum! <laughs> we can develop altitude sickness if we climb rapidly. Our body is not able to adjust to reduced oxygen, as well as changes in air pressure. The mildest form of acute mountain sickness, or AMS, typically occurs above 2,500 meters, with symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, dizziness, etc. It can further progress to high-altitude pulmonary edema, thus making it difficult to breathe, and further to high-altitude cerebral edema, as in swelling of the brain. The best way of preventing altitude sickness is to increase elevation by no more than 300 meters per day. Hmm. Why do we huh? have chins? No idea. But, but, where is my chin? Oh, I'm some. Firstly, it is believed that chins relieve our jaws from the stress that they encounter while chewing food. Secondly, it is believed that our tongues may be putting a lot of stress on our jaws while speaking. Now our chin may be acting as a reinforcing bone, which resists that pressure. Thirdly, it is believed that chins exist to help us attract mates. Lastly, according to one theory, our ancestors had bigger faces. We evolved into smaller ones, and our chins are still gradually shrinking. Hmm. <laughs> what is an Adam's apple? Adam's apple is basically a protruding chunk of thyroid cartilage that surrounds our larynx or a voice box. It is more prominent in men because during puberty the larynx tends to grow more in males than it does in females. As a result, in huh? men it causes the cartilage to project outwards, thus creating an Adam's apple. Some researchers believe that a larger Adam's huh? apple may also play a role in deepening our voice. Hmm.